question, uh, Mr. Mayor. Good, good seeing you there. Talk about, I know you've been going crazy over the kind of impact that this had on the nation from Jersey City last week. Yeah, I mean, look, it's uh, redefined how a lot of people around the country view Jersey City. So, you know, we know that we're one of the best renaissance stories in the country, but a lot of people view Jersey City how they thought about it in the 70s, 80s, or 90s, uh, and it's really not that type of city anymore. It's changed a lot, and the spotlight has really garnered a lot of attention. We're just thankful for that. You know, I know one thing I like about it is the fact that it's brought some folks together back to Jersey City that might not have been here for a while either. Yeah. Um, it's brought back a lot of alumni, a lot of people that have roots and ties to Jersey City. Uh, they're taking pride in saying that's my hometown, and uh, we're, th we're, we're happy about that. Man, thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Always. Thank you. Uh, we're here with uh, Tommy Bess. Uh, Tommy, I know your eligibility is over. And I figured out if they had in the game last week, you could you could have given six points and six fouls, right? <laughs> of course, I would have got a double double in there somehow, you know, Two, uh, ten fouls and ten turnovers. That's what. I <laughs> Tommy, I know you were beaming proud with St. Peter. Now, Tommy, you're more than just a, a, a player. You're a Hall of Fame at St. Peter's with, with the basketball program. I know you're beaming with pride, bro. I'm very proud of these guys. They did su such a great job. They brought a lot of attention to Jersey City and St. Peter's. It's just amazing, you know, just amazing. Hey, Tommy, you know, one of the things that, that folks don't realize, with a school like St. Peter's and a team like they had, it takes grit. Everybody wants spectaculars, you know, four-star players, but you got guys who just want to play. Yes, yes. You know, when you have players that don't get the opportunity to, to compete against bigger teams and better teams, supposedly, you want to prove everyone wrong. And you just, you know, you go out there, you, you, you work hard, and you, you know you follow the coach's instruction and sometimes good things happen like they did last last two weeks lastly tell me let's be real maybe my spy some plays and plays in jersey high school boy really might need to stay home and get your game together and you can help out <laughs> what are you saying me come out of retirement you know, <laughs> some, some of these young people talking about they want to go elsewhere might think about st peter's if you've got a game yes yes you know with all the success you're going to get people looking at uh St. Peter's has a place to play, you know? Uh, everybody wants to play for a good team and good coaches and great fans. So St. Peter's will be considered a lot more these days now. Now, Tommy, I, I did that with all positivity because you know you're my man, but it's, it ain't football season, so we ain't talking about the Cowboys. <laughs> Go Cowboys. <laughs> a great parade for St. Peter's College. Now, you work at St. Peter's. What has it done for the university? Well, it's just re-inspired, reignited us. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we, we just feel like we are really peacock soaring again, you know, because we're, we're on top of the world. Everyone knows our name. And we have so much pride, so much pride for this team, these wonderful young men who've worked. How, I heard last week the, the computer system went down with people trying to get in. Yeah, yeah, because everyone else was excited and wanted to find out more about St. Peter, so it crashed, but it came back. And, and, and enrollment is up, you know, everything is up. We're, our spirits are up. We're just thrilled. We're thrilled, right? Thrilled. I'm a Jersey City girl, and I've worked at St. Peter's University for 38 years, which is truly amazing, and I love it. And I've, I've seen a bunch of alumni here, which is so exciting. Here's one now. Steve Grace. No, yes, indeed. Guy. Yes, right. indeed. You guys, you're in the parade. You know, we know back when it was rough with St. Peter's win, but now they wanted to name. Talk about how, how it affected you, man. Oh, my goodness. Well, locally here, we knew what St. Peter's was, who, who they were, what they're about. Um, I was a kid going back to the 68, 69 teams and, and, and the NIT. <laughs> I'm a graduate of uh, St. Peter's class of 76. So it brings uh, great pride and uh, just to know the recognition that the university has now received and who knows where it can go from here. And one of the main things that I like about it, it's gotten the city together to pull together for the school because the school has done so much more than what people know. Give me a quick comment about that. Well, the St. Peter's alumni are everywhere. And, and you know, we're sort of a, a secret one of these golden nuggets that people don't know about until you find out later, oh, you went to St. Peter's. The alumni, they, you know, they, they talk about the grit and resilience and even brilliance of St. Peter's students, and it's true. The Jesuit core, that, that, that belief to strive for excellence, that we are men and women for others, and that carries us through. 
and uh, and just keeps us going. And there is also uh, a Jersey City toughness, you know, that, that you saw that when the guys were playing, you know, that that's that's there. But it's it's grit and resilience and belief that that you can achieve the impossible. You know, Steve, one, one quick comment about maybe young people might might never think about going someplace. What would Jersey City could do for a young person going to St. Peter's College? Well, Jersey City, what Jersey City does, it offers the great diversity that we have here. So you experience a little bit of everything, and um, it's just a great place to, to, to raise the children, to, to, to go to school, uh, and to live. It's a great town. Well, guys, thank you for your time. I know you're out for the parade, and we're glad to see you both, for right? Go Peacocks. Go Peacocks. I know Jonathan for years, and tell me about what this means for St. Peter's for you, man. Also, I grew up a few blocks from here my whole life. A lot of my family went there. It's just good for Jersey City. It's good for spirit, especially coming out of the COVID stuff. You know, people are a little down and out. This brings up, you know, lifts us all up. It's good. One of the things it did, a lot of folk that like Jersey City came back to Jersey just to root for it. What about you? I, I never left. I'm still here. 50 years plus. You know that, Patrick. I wasn't here. <laughs> and and, and who's, this, who's this lovely person? My daughter, Angelina. Hi. How do you feel about what's going on today? Um, I feel really excited. I think it's um, really good for Jersey City. Um, it really brings out um, the mood. Like after COVID, I feel like it's been very quiet. So I feel like this is really good for it, for the city. Well, I'm glad to hear from you. Good talking with you, man, as always. always uh, well, I'll see you at the sweet shop. Gary's, <laughs> Gary's on his way. Gary's on his way. Miss Really, I know you're out here not because um, you're just trying to be fly. You're out there for the parade by the Peacocks. Tell me what happened, what kind of it, it, kind of impact it had on you. You know, this is really a great time for the city. It's a great time for our young people. Um, it was so inspiring, and it made so many residents proud to see uh, students that a lot of us know personally from a college that we all know very well here in Jersey City on a big stage and big platform like that. So we're just super proud of them. We're proud of what they did, and we know that they're going to go on and do great things. So today is a great day for Jersey City. You know, one of the things that what folks don't realize um, when they see colleges getting involved in an NCAA tournament, the impact it can have on a team in the city, it has an impact that, a financial impact that if they, if you can't, you couldn't pay for the amount of advertising they got. How does that affect the city and what it could do? That, uh, you know, it affects the city because it brings more people here. More people are now interested in Jersey City. More people are now Googling Jersey City and trying to find out what we're all about. More people know that we are not a suburb of New York City, as yes. someone stated. <laughs> but also, you know, it's very beneficial for the school. As someone who attended a private uh, institution, a private college, the funding is very different. So this is a very good look for St. Peter's University, and I hope that this results in more funding for their programs. I'm here with Sean Gibbs, coach of uh, Snyder High School Tigers and a Hall of Famer at St. Peter's University. Man, I know you were beaming with pride last week, bro. Oh, beaming with pride? With joy. Pride. Shooting at me, Mr. Best was at the game. Shooting at we had fun. It, it was beautiful. It was amazing. I mean, the game was, that game when we was coming down the escalators, they was uh, uh, S SPU. It was amazing. I'm talking about thousands. So mm -hmm. it was a joy. It's a pleasure. It's great. It's great for the city, great for the school, and all the alumni guys was there. I mean, the scene was excellent. It was excellent. So I'm talking about the team. Now, you're a coach. You understand what chemistry is about. And a lot of kids want to be stars, but as you know, chemistry is more important. Yeah, yeah, uh, yes, indeed. The chemistry that he explained, uh, what I'm trying to say, uh, he, he rotated 10 deep. And so in order for him to get the 10 guys to buy in, that's a coach. A coach, uh, um, not only to give them the buy in, to believe. See, because most colleges and most schools go like eight, eight, seven deep. Shaheen went with 10, 11. That's amazing. For a school like St. Peter's to rotate 11 guys and still play and still have, and, and don't miss a beat, that, that's great. That's great. Now, what's that going to say for some high school kids getting their game together? Maybe they can go 10 deep. Well, that's going to, I mean, that'd be great. But but these kids uh, nowadays, they got to understand. They got to 
believe, even sometimes you're not playing that well, you got to stick, stick with it and still be, it's, 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 now still be a team, but still understand the game as a collective bargain for a team. So once they committed themselves to the coach and themselves, great things happen. I know you're happy today, man. Enjoy the parade, man. Thanks a lot. Of Even though I, you know, you know, I, I, I like you, Sheldon, but you know, I had two Cowboy fans. That's about enough for today for y'all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
Fire Department, Jersey City's Bravest. The Port Authority Police Bagpipers. The Pipers are an integral part of the department's culture and pride and perform at national and local events. Please welcome Jersey City Mayor Steve Fulop, the 49th Mayor of the City of Jersey City, United States Senator Menendez, a university graduate, Freehold Romano, also a university graduate, Francis Shilari, Anthony Venieri, Mayor Turner, good luck in the election. <laughs> Councilman Bociano, Councilman Rivera, both Marines, and Councilman Rivera also attended St. Peter's University. Chief McGill, Jeff Dublin, County Clerk, Sandra Cunningham, Gary DiFilippo, Mira Prinzare, Denise Ridley, Joyce Waterman, Council President, and the amazing Jonathan DiFilippo. Joining us now with Peacock Pride, longtime freeholder and former Councilman of Ward B, Bill O'Day, Peacock Pride. Joining them, Jerry Walker of St. Anthony and Seton Hall University fame. And Bob Menendez, Jr. The first truck coming through is showing some of the highlights of the historic run of the Peacocks from St. Peter's University. Defeating number two, number two seed Kentucky, number three seed Purdue, and number seven seed Murray State. The Lincoln Lions, Junior ROTC, and Marching Band. Helping to support the Make-A-Wish Foundation, whose president is also from Jersey City, that's Tom Weatherall. Please welcome the Eagles of Liberty High School and the National Honor Society. The Hudson Catholic Boys Basketball Team, a perennial contender for state and local championships. University Academy Charter High School, the Generals. Please welcome another champion from Jersey City, the Hudson County Champions, St. Aloysius Elementary Academy Boys Basketball. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, sitting atop the bluffs of the Palisades, the Weehawken High School Marching Band.
gentlemen, one of the longest running parade committees in the city of Jersey City. Representatives of the Jersey City St. Patrick's Day Parade Committee. Please welcome the St. Peter's University Alumni Association. Hey, Father Squeal, good to see you. They are joined with Lambda Tau Omega Sorority, St. Peter's Sorority Chapter, Excellence Through Unity, Knowledge and Dedication. Leave that's Councilman Gilmore out there. How you doing, Councilman? Ladies and gentlemen, the Union City Eagles marching band! Please welcome the James J. Ferris High School Bulldogs! And now, the McNair Academic High School's Army R Junior ROTC. The Cougars have been honored as a National Blue Ribbon School and Academic Bowl and Science, Technology, Engineering and Math Competition Champions. Also joining us today, New Jersey State Senator Sandra Cunningham, representing the 31st Legislative District. The St. Column Seal United Gaelic Pipe Band is based in Kearney and keeps alive the traditions of Scottish and Irish music for over 75 years. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, run, baby, run! Joining them, Tommy Best, Keetron Clark, The Snyder Tigers from just south of the boulevard. And celebrating their 150th anniversary of Jesuit traditions, St. Peter's Prep.
Park District Pipe and Drums, representing both South Orange and Park Ridge. Also with us today, East North Mayor Dina Grillo, a first generation American and proudly served as Ladies and gentlemen, the Dickinson High School Junior ROTC! <laughs> Junior ROTC helps to build leaders and educate people on how to become American citizens to fulfill their potential to make this country a better place to be. And the Blue Devils! of St. Dominic Academy. Please welcome the Bayonne Board of Education, basketball teams, and freeholder commissioner, Ken Kopas, who is also a graduate of St. Peter's University with his graduate and undergraduate degrees. Coach James Turner, good seeing you, and congratulations. Assisted by Ryan Wellen, Rasheen Davis, Umar Shannon, and the athletic director is Rachel Paul. Let's go, Peacocks! Let's go, Peacocks! Let's go, Peacocks! A colorful and energetic bird, also representing the character of this team. Hardworking, colorful, enthusiastic, and hardworking. At the end of the parade is the Jersey City Fire Department under the leadership of Chief Steve McGill and the Jersey City Police Department under Director Tawana Moody. Ladies and gentlemen, please let me now 
hand over the microphone to Jersey City's mayor, the mayor of the greatest mid-sized city in the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, and here they are. Latrell Reed, Marty Silvera, Jerry Nagopo, Fusine Drame, Casey Nudepo, Clarence Rupert, Hassan Drame, Omar Dihame, Doug Eckert, Muhammad So, and head coach Shaheen Holloway, assisted by Ryan Whalen, Rasheen Davis, Umar Shannon, and the athletic director Rachel Paul. Clear this one out too. Guys, you want to grab a seat or you guys want to hang out for a second? All on there. Okay, no, that's fine. Fire trucks are staying right there, right? Okay, I think so. We could get them. Let's hear it for the St. Peter's Peacocks. We could do better than that, Jersey City. Let's hear it for the St. Peter's Peacocks. I have the privilege of introducing some special people today that want to say some special words of appreciation for you, Jersey City, Hudson County, and New Jersey for your support along the way. These gentlemen made us proud and we're here today to say thank you to them. So one more time, let's hear it for the St. Peter's Peacocks. We have a short program. Uh, our first speaker is the man at the helm of the entire university, uh, controlling where we invest, has been an advocate for athletics and the basketball program. I want to bring up to start us off here, the president of St. Peter's University, Eugene Kornakia. Good afternoon, and welcome to St. Peter's University. Thank you, Mayor Fulop, and the city of Jersey City for hosting a spectacular parade to celebrate our men's basketball team. We are truly grateful. I would like to extend a special welcome to two of our distinguished alumni here on stage with me, Senator Bob Menendez, class of 1976, And is uh, Tom DeGees here? Uh, well, anyway, Tom DeGees. Class of 1972 is also a distinguished alum of our university. Uh, you know, I have to admit, I still don't have the right words to express how I feel or how I have felt for the past two weeks. But what I do know is that I have such an overwhelming feeling of pride for our players, for our coaches, and for the sportsmanship and grit and determination they exhibited. They were fearless, weren't they? And yes, they made history by becoming the first 15 seed ever to advance to the Elite Eight. But they did something even more amazing. They put this Jesuit University of New Jersey on the map. St. Peter's University has been providing opportunity for generations for 150 years. I have always known what a special place this institution is, how special our students, faculty, staff, and alumni are, and many of you did too. But now, the world has learned what a St. Peter's Peacock can do when given the chance. 
I want to thank our entire community for its support. And to our new friends across the nation, across the world, we are so glad that you have gotten to know us and to know Jersey City, our forever home and partner. I have been president for 15 years and a member of this community for 40, so I've seen a lot of things here on the boulevard. I have to say, this run, this is history. This is what I will remember as the greatest moment of my time here. Team, today we celebrate you and your athletic achievement. Each of you has shown that hard work, dedication, and determination pays off. Thank you for representing St. Peter's with class and dignity, and for making us cheer and jump for joy during a time when we needed it most. Congratulations, and once again, let's go Peacocks! The next person I have the privilege of introducing is the most prominent alumni of St. Peter's University, one of our two U.S. Senators down in Washington, proudly, proudly flying the banner of St. Peter's University for decades upon decades, our great U.S. Senator, Robert Menendez. Thanks, Mayor. It's great to leave from Washington and be in Peacock Nation, Jersey City. I'm glad to be back from Washington to celebrate this incredible moment with this incredible young man and the coach and the whole university as an alumni of St. Peter's, I can tell you, I love going up to my colleagues in the United States Senate from Kentucky and say, how about those peacocks? <laughs> and from the other school, how about those peacocks? <laughs> and all of a sudden, United States Senators who only used to come to talk to me about a vote or about foreign relations and said, where is St. Peter's? Well, folks, it's here in Jersey City! I want to salute the mayor for bringing us all together and having a fantastic event. Mayor, thank you for bringing us all together to celebrate this moment. And what can I say about these young men? What they all did was spectacular. We know it was history. Some of my friends in the Senate would say to me, we well, you know what they did was impossible. And I said to them, no, you don't understand. If you're from St. Peter's University, nothing is impossible. <laughs> Hard work, sacrifice, grit, determination, that's what paid off their great life lessons, whether on the basketball court or anyone else, but we from St. Peter's know that the impossible is very possible. If you told me when I came here to school growing up poor in a tenement in Union City, first in my family to go to college, the son of refugees, that I could be one of 100 United States Senators in a country of 330 million people, I might have said no, but that's the St. Peter's tradition alive. So coach, congratulations on taking these young men's talent and bringing it to the forefront. Congratulations to all these young men. And because I wanted the rest of the nation to know what this moment means, not just to Jersey City, not just to St. Peter's University, but a moment that we all needed to be uplifted with a Cinderella team. I have had two flags flown over the United States Capitol, and I want to present it now to President Kornakia and to Casey Nadifo on behalf of the entire team.
Next speaker, before we bring up the team, is the St. Peter's Athletic Director, Rochelle Paul. Let's put it together for Rochelle. Peacock Nation, how are we? Thank you so much for coming out today. Let's give a big round of applause to this incredible group of young men standing or sitting behind me. Without any further ado, I will introduce our head men's basketball coach, Shaheen Holloway. Jersey City, stand up, let's go! Stand up, let's go, let's go, let's go! Get up, let's go! Jersey City, stand up! Peacock Nation, we made history. We made history. All of us, Peacock Nation, we made history. Thank you so much to the mayor for doing this for us. This is unbelievable, thank you. You know, I'm not gonna stay up here being long. It's not about me, it's about these guys right here. So, I think the first guy that I wanna talk is, is Casey Adefo, our only senior. So let's make sure we give Casey a big ovation, let's go. What's up, Peacock Nation? What's up, Jersey City? Hey, we wanna give you guys a big round of applause, big shout out for everything you guys done this year. You know, we couldn't make history without you guys. You guys are a big part of it. Uh, this, is, this is just a great moment. It's a great moment. Thank you for everything. Thank you, guys. Now we're going to bring up one of the twins. I'm not sure what he's going to say, but good luck. For CD Drumming. Oh yeah, we can do better, man. Let me hear ya, let me hear ya. Let me hear ya, man. Oh my damn, man, no, no. oh yeah. Oh yeah. What? This is a special moment, man. This is a time we all dream about. But first of all, before everything, we have to give thanks to Almighty God, man. I did not bear him, we wouldn't be here. Oh, man, he's the one, he's the reason. After that, I want to give special thanks to the student athlete, man. Student athlete. And every staff or faculty of St. Peter, thanks, man. Had it not been you guys, this is not possible. But nothing is impossible, guys. My message for those kids, man, don't let nobody tell you you cannot do it. Don't, don't, don't let nobody tell you that you cannot do it because it's their opinion. Opinion is a judgment. What they doubt about you, prove them that you can do it. Be Good job, fool. Good job, fool. All right, next up, I'm not sure. He's like a phenomenon right now with his mustache, but we're going to bring up Doug. Let's go. Make some noise. Let's go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Man. This is amazing, everyone. This is amazing. Uh, <laughs> bro, no, we're so happy to be here right now. We're so happy with what we accomplished. But uh, make no mistake. Make no mistake. None of it would have been possible without everybody here. So shout out to y'all. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> but, uh, 
No, uh, this is just so amazing. Seriously, thank you guys for all the love and support. Uh, we, can, we definitely couldn't do it without you guys, so thank you. So just Isaiah? Nobody else? Nobody else? Oh. So, 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 so next up, next up is Jersey City on Isaiah Dash, let's go. What's up, Jersey City? What's up, Jersey City? Hey, man, this, this is beautiful, man. To see everybody together, to see the city out, man. You know, just, just a couple of guys playing basketball. We didn't even think we could make it this far. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. All right, I mean, shout out to everybody that's here, man. Thank you for all the love and all the appreciation, man. We appreciate it. Without, without y'all, it's no us. So give it up. Give yourselves a round of applause, man. Hey, we appreciate everybody out here for showing us love. You know, I was in the same shoes some of y'all in, like Twin said. Don't let nobody tell you I can't do nothing. Oh, yeah. Hey, go Peacocks. Go Peacocks on three. One, two, three. All right, so all the other guys are a little scared to talk, so we're just going to call them up. First, we're going to call up Matt Lee. Please stay. We're going to call up Dow Banks. Hassan Drame. Who was it? Marty Silvera. Who else about? Big Omar. I don't know the trail last name, but the, the trail. <laughs> Who else we got? We got Mo. We got Big Big Mo right here. My favorite, Big Jerry. We got my man Brent over here. Come on, step up, Brent. We got Big C. Come on, C, step up. We got Juju. Am oh, I missing anybody? That's it? That's all we got? Listen, seriously, Jersey City, Peacock Nation, this is unbelievable, man. This is very humbling. It's, uh, you know, I want to give out, give a shout out to all the fireworkers, the police department, everybody in Jersey City, thank you guys so much. All the frontline people, thank you guys so much for holding us down. Once again, Jersey City, I don't care what nobody said. What they gonna say now? One more time, what they gonna say now? We made history, Peak Foundation, I love you guys, thank you. Gene, Gene, you coming up here? Gene. Let's hear it one more time for the St. Peter's Peacocks. We got, uh, before we conclude, uh, we have two things that uh, we want to present to uh, the leadership and the coach here. Uh, first, we just want to say to Coach Holloway, we know um, that he's moving not far from here, but we are thankful for what you did for Jersey City. We love you, and uh, we appreciate you, Shay. We wish you the best of luck on the next chapter. We have for each of the players here a key to the city, which we will have, give, to, uh, give to Coach to present. And to the university, we have a large one to say thank you on behalf of Jersey City. You captured the country's hearts and minds, and we are thankful for that. And to Shaheen, we have a proclamation. So as long as St. Peter's is here, and as long as Jersey City is here, today will be memorialized as officially a day that we recognize the Peacocks as the best, best, best Jersey City has to offer. Thank you all. Hey, thank you. Thank you all for coming out today. This concludes the ceremony. Let's hear it one more time for the St. Peter's Peacocks. Do you want to call them up now? Do you want to do them now or do you want to do them individually? Either. Do you want to do them individually now? All right. Hey, 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 hey. Let's go. You're going to bring them.
Before we go, Shaheen wants to call up each of the individual players to give the key to the city with me individually. One last time, we'll recognize him. I'm passing the mic over to Coach Holloway. Hey, it's, uh, is it the uh, coaches too? Yeah. Yeah, yeah everyone. Everybody. Uh, everybody. Uh, all, right. all right, so starting first, we're going to start with our senior, Casey Adefo. Next, uh, Fusini Drame. <laughs> Hassan Drame. <laughs> Daryl Banks. <laughs> Matt Lee. <laughs> Dougie. <laughs> uh, Marty. Omar. Journey City on Isaiah. Latrell. Who's missing? Juju. Brent. Come on, Brent. Big O, come on, Big O. Jerry, Big Jerry, I'm sorry. I got him. Come on, Mo, Big Mo. Big C. That's everybody. That's everybody. And now the, the coaches, Ryan Wellen. Rasheen Davis. Yeah. Umar Shannon. Yeah. My guy, Steven Cruz. Yeah. And last but not least, my man Morgan. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming out, Jersey City. Let's hear one more time for St. Peter's Peacocks. Thank you.